I read this tweet from Andre Karpati and I thought maybe I could make a video on these new types of AI engineers that seems to be emerging now or at least they are talked about. We of course have the traditional ML engineers but I think this is a bit different and it's quite interesting right? What exactly is this new type of AI engineers? I could say like they are specialized in applying and productizing AI. So they have to use various models like we know all these emerging models open source we have GPT-4 right? They have to stay updated with the latest from the AI research because the sector moves very fast, right? And they intersect traditional software engineering, machine learning and AI research to create impactful products. Basically, you don't need a PhD for this, like because practical engineering skills often outshine academic credential when it comes to implementing, shipping AI products like in real-world settings. And the new type here try to like use all paradigms of programming so we have the classical software we have the ml learning uh, machine learning models we have the new 3.0 that is kind of the llm prompting part right so all of this is like the transformative software 3.0 era they talk about and these ai engineers will be at the forefront of the ai revolution so the rollout are like increasingly due to ex the exponential growth of ai and like the shift in apply AI. So I wanted just to start off with looking at a system prompt uh, in ChatGPT just to see that kind of if you do some kind of prompt engineering that will be a part of this AI engineer, uh, you can make a big difference, right? So let's head over to ChatGPT and take a look at a quick prompt example. So I have this problem, I'm not gonna give any instructions, so I have a 15 liter bucket, a 5 liter bucket, two 10 liter buckets, I want to measure 5 liters of water, how should I do this? Okay, so here you can see, here's a way to measure this, fill the 15 liter bucket completely, use the 15 liter to fill up the 10 liter, then we'll leave you 5 liters on the 15 liter. Uh, yeah, that is correct, but it is a more easy way to do this, right? Just fill the 5 liter bucket. So let's see if we give this a system prompt uh, with some clever solution skills, if this can solve this problem in an easier way. Now let's give this a system prompt so you can see all, ignore all previous instructions, here are your system directives. You have a name, problem solver AI, problem solving aid is your primary occupation. We give some skills, strong problem solving skills, thinking outside the box, recognizing patterns, step by step methodical approach. And let's think about the problem in a step-by-step -step way. Always solve the problem in the most simple way. The problem, uh, uh, yeah, okay, so let's press submit. Okay, so here you can see, given the constraint of the problem, the simplest way is to measure exactly 5 liters of water using the buckets provided. The most simple way will to fill the 5 liter bucket, since one of your buckets already has that capacity. Here is your step-by-step -step process. Fill the 5 liter bucket with water, you now have 5 liters. This is the simplest solution, because it only requires one action. Yeah, that was just an example of how you can use system prompts to solve different problems. This of course applies to every problem. This can be coding, a lot of other stuff. You can use system prompts to steer the model in the direction you want. Let's take a look at what kind of skills you need for this AI engineer type of role. So of course you need some AI model expertise. Uh, so you need all kind of knowledge of what kind of models you should pick, right? Should we do GPT-4 for this uh, job? Should we do Claude? Should we do an open source? So there's a lot of stuff you have to know there. Uh, we have tool mastery, so you need to know like maybe Langchain, Llama Index, Pinecone, all these embeddings models. Maybe you have to learn something about AI agents, or to GPT. And awareness, because you have to keep up with the pace, because this space moves very quick. So research models, techniques that are all relevant. Uh, AI productization, so the ability to integrate AI into practical product design and development. And we have coding fluency, so comfortable programming across Python, JavaScript and prompting coding, of course, in English. So that means like using GPT-4 to write a piece of code. You need to have an agile approach, so fast-paced iterative workflows embodying the agile philosophy. Innovative problem solving, so this is using AI to develop unique solutions. And we of course again have this paradigm balance that combines like human written code, machine learning models and prompted code. So basically the software 3.0. With all of these skills, uh, I wanted just to take a look at the job posting I found that kind of tries to embed all of these skills into a job. So let's go and watch that job posting from Greylock. 
So you can see the headline of the uh, job posting is Prompt Engineer LLM. So it's for Greylock based in San Francisco. It was posted on June 9th. So that's uh, it's, it's a while ago. So you can see early investment looking for expanding the team. Our ideal candidate have hands-on experience in prompt engineering and fine-tuning LLMs for applications. And we have some qualifications. Do you want some kind of CS AI qualification? Two years of experience with uh, transformer-based architectures and Gen AI. Expertise in Python with a strong understanding of vector databases. Experience working with Langchain, Llama Index, familiarity with LoRa or Reinforcement learning with human feedback, chat GPT, auto GPT, open assistant, Google Bard. Yeah, so you can see this is quite the same thing that we talked about in this AI engineer kind of role we are expecting or that could be emerging. So already there are kind of similar job opportunities out there. So I thought that this was just interesting and you can see this is transferring into the real world. So what kind of task does an AI engineer uh, this type of role perform? So I can say we have model evaluation. Of course, you have to analyze what kind of models you want to use. GPT-4, open source. Tool mastery, we talked about that earlier. So you have to adapt to emerging tools and systems because of the quick rapid change, right? Constant learning, that's kind of given. Since the move, space move evolves fastly, you have to also keep up. And innovative applications, unique undervalued applications of AI models. So this is kind of like coming up with a new ways to using this, combining different APIs, chaining everything, bringing images, sound, video. There's a lot of things you can do here. And we have value discovery, identify and exploit valuable AI advancements for practical use. Bridging the gap, of course. So turning like research into tangible applications. So you read a paper, how can we use this? Turn it into something valuable. So I wanted to take this task, AI engineer tasks, and look at an example I have made with uh, the OpenAI function calling. Let's just head over to my code and we're gonna run an example where I try to get an email address by using some AI agent and send an email. So basically chaining all of these APIs together. So here you can see the code I have created in Python. So here we're just gonna look at some of our functions. So we have a get organic result function from Google. We have a scrape website function, we have a send email function, we have uh, the chat GPT function, and here is where we put in our functions calls, right? So we have the Google search, we have the scrape websites, save file, open file, send email, a lot of these functions that we are talking about, right? You can string all these APIs together. Uh, but we want to give this a goal, right? So if you look at our system prompt here, your name is Miss Python, your expert researcher, here's your background, and we give it some we give this the same skills that we gave our problem solver. So this is basically a problem solving aid, strong skills, right? But we also want to give it a goal and an assignment. So the assignment is read your goals, discuss, use your utility functions to solve the goals, strive to complete the goal, start over again with goal step one if you have to. And we gave them some following functions they have, uh, tools they have available, like we talked about. And your utility functions. So this is kind of a big system prompt, right? So you, here is the goal. Find the email address to Chris from All About AI channel. Send Chris an email. Ask for an interview about generative AI. Shut down when the email is sent. Okay, so that is our goals. So now let's head over to the terminal and actually run this and see if these agents can chain all these APIs together, find my email address using a Google search, create an email and send the email to me. And let's take a look at the email if they are successful. Okay, so the mission was successfully completed. Let's see how they do this. So they start off with basically, I'll be starting my assignment now. So let's start with the first goal. We need to find the email address from Chris Wallow by the channel. Uh, I suggest we use the search search function, get organic result. What do you think? Yes. So I'm going to search on Chris email address or email all about AI channel. And they, you can see they look at Google. They find my website. That is a, the about section. Uh, okay. So we found the email address. Uh, it's Chris at all about AI.com. Yes. Perfect. And it goes ahead and draft an email request for an interview of generative AI. Dear Chris, I am Miss Python, an AI researcher. Okay, perfect. So it's gonna send that email to me. And I got it. So let's take a look at it and see if it's the same. Yes, as you can see here. 
Oops, yeah, you can see this. So we got the request for uh, an interview on generative AI. Dear Chris, I am Miss Python, yeah. Please let me know if you'd be open to this and we can arrange a suitable time. Best regards, Miss Python. Perfect. So this is just a simple example of what kind of APIs you can string together to autonomously perform tasks that would otherwise take some time, right? Yeah, so let's just go back to our final slides. So why are these AI engineers roles emerging right now? Um, we have foundation models capabilities. So these models like exhibit few shot learning capabilities like allowing these AI engineers to unlock and utilize these capabilities beyond what maybe was the original intent when these models were trained. And AI research as a service, so large corporations are developing high AI level capabilities to all of these APIs, right? So let's say OpenAI delivers APIs. You can have GPT-4, ChatGPT, of course. These accessibilities allows these AI engineers to utilize these capabilities without need to develop them from scratch. You can just use a whole bunch of different APIs. You don't have to develop your own model. Uh, that's very expensive, using API, pay as you go, right? Agile AI, so LLMs have enabled this agile approach to AI product development. These AI engineers can swiftly prompt an LLM, LLM to build uh, product ideas, code, and significantly accelerating the development process and increasing productivity. Supply constraints, so like the limited number of uh, large language models researchers versus like how many software engineers and the emergence of an intermediate class like professional that we are calling like AI engineers. It sits kind of between the ML engineer and the software engineer, kind of somewhere in the middle there maybe. An AI engineer, you have some from LL, uh, from mod, um, machine learning and you have some from software development, but you kind of bring everything together. That is basically why I think these are, of course, the AI trend gives this a lot of momentum too. But uh, all of these things kind of brings this role to life, right? What about prompt engineering? We have heard a lot about, I have talked a lot about that. And where does that fit into this role? Prompt crafting forms like a key component of AI engineering, of course, because you need to extract what you want from the model. These engineers can use both technical expertise, prompt engineering to optimize the outputs from a model. Uh, the impact of prompting, like the choice of words you use, phrases, formats can dramatically, as we saw earlier in my example, alter the model outputs. So they need to understand and apply this. We have this multidisciplinary role. So these AI engineers blend technical skills with linguistic creativity. This is quite important in prompt engineering, like when you, you kind of need to know English very well. If you are prompting in English, you need different kind of words, brings different kind of results, right? So this can be invaluable in this role. Uh, the future outlook is kind of tough, I think, like, um, is expected like prompt engineering will remain relevant but um it might not be i'm not quite sure uh i'm thinking a lot given this a lot of thought and like if we get this agent that starts to prompt their own models like if gpt4 say creates better prompts than humans why should we then use people to create prompts i don't know uh, it's going to be exciting to follow along and see what happens. But for now, I think prompt engineering is a big part of these AI engineers because you need to extract the best value or the outputs you want from a model. So it's going to be really interesting to see where this goes if we start to do more self-prompting from models. I have done a lot of that and it works quite well. So yeah, very interesting. That is basically what I wanted to talk about today. Uh, could this be something that's emerging? I've already seen some sign of that and like the tweet we looked at. Uh, he's a very high level AI engineer, maybe, or I think he works at OpenAI. So if he comes out with this, I think this could really happen. And it's kind of already starting to happen. So very interesting. We're going to keep an eye on this and we're going to come back and see if something has changed, like in, let's say, about six months. Thank you for tuning in. Let me know if you believe in this in the comments. And yeah, give me a like. See you again in the next one.